Um, how have you been dealing with? Because uh, you know, I feel like you you do live your life outward online sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like we've kind of seen you go through like public you know uh, yeah. issues when it comes to maybe depression or mm -hmm. you know maybe some of your previ previous relationships just you kind of yeah. gone through a lot of stuff and like we've seen it how are you doing today um that's a good question uh today I, i'm still like the same person you right. know i'm still kind of the same person but i'm just less I, I try to be less open uh on social media and everything just because i, I don't feel like it makes anything better, but the reason why I, I try to be open on social media is because there's a lot of people out there going through the same shit. You know, right. we're we're all human. You could be you could have ten million followers, ten million dollars, like life's still gonna hit you. You right. can't get away from life. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I feel like I feel like I'm all right. I'm just going through the same thing, but I kinda deal with my um, you know, my thoughts and everything in a different way now. Right. Now that I'm getting older, I talk to people. I uh, you know, just have conversations with myself. But I still try to be open, you know. Have you, have you gone to therapy? I have gone to therapy, yeah. Was it helpful? No. <laughs> it wasn't? <laughs> no, no, no. How many times I did feel, you go, though? I've been to three different therapists. Oh, so and maybe I need to find the right one. That's, yeah. that's, that's what they say. But I, um, I don't know, man. I feel, I know it's supposed to be like a judge-free zone kind of thing. But I feel like when They're I'm telling my you? story, not judging, but they kind of don't get it. You know, and it's it's hard to talk to someone who doesn't get it when you say this, this, and that, and they're like, mm, but you know, I I'm not sure. Maybe I need to. Fight. You know what you need? I don't know what I need. You need no. a hero's dose of mushrooms. <laughs> That's what you need. Is that the truth? Yeah. Oh man. Or you, you need to might... hop on a plane <laughs> with your lady, go to fucking Costa but, Rica. Yeah. Do some fucking ayahuasca. But but here's the crazy thing. Here's the crazy thing. I'm being serious. I know. I hear you. And I've and I've heard that and I've I've been told that. But I love life, bro. Like, no, you're gonna love life more. <laughs> no, listen, bro. I promise you, it's not a it's I'm but, not telling you something like in a negative way. Like yeah. everyone, not you, not just yeah. I anybody think, in the world should do psychedelics. At least Everybody. once. At least once. All the time. <laughs> Yeah. Here's the thing with me, though. I feel like I have a great balance. Like, I love life, it's, but then, like, I hate life. But so you, having having that pain, having that anger, having that internal flame inside me pushes me to do certain things, you know, push, pushes me to make certain music for people, you know what I mean? Who who? So, have, like, um, Aaron Rodgers, he's a football player. Do you, uh -huh. do you watch No. Him? Okay. So, he's fucking back-to-back -back NFL MVP. This year, he's been terrible. But... Two years ago, he said he went to Costa Rica, did ayahuasca, and it like okay. unlocked something in his brain, and he's just like fucking. He's an amazing football player now. I mean, he, he's always been amazing, but you get so ayahuasca. Cha what, what changed? He just said that he like understood the world more. He became more self-aware. Uh, he became more like it. It, it really kind of kills your ego. It kind of like. Yeah. You should do some shrooms at least. I'm gonna try it. I got some for you. <laughs> Let you know. Go. Okay. Before I'll, you I'll leave try. here, you'll have some. <laughs> okay. What? But I, I like I like the balance between between happy and sad though. I don't want to be happy all the time. I don't feel I mean, like you don't want to be happy all the time, but you also want to like have an understanding of why you're yeah. like there's probably a lot of like repressed shit right. that you don't even know is there. Right. For real. Like yeah. I had a my homie uh I won't say his name, but he's an industry guy. Uh, he said that he he well I, I knew this guy to be like one of the more degenerate pieces of shit of like all time. Mm -hmm. Gambled, did a bunch of fucking cocaine, was always <laughs> sniffing blow off hookers' Fuck. asses. Just a psychopath, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, great guy though. I love him. Uh, but he did ayahuasca, and he hasn't uh, touched drugs. He hasn't gambled. He got married. He had a baby. He got fucking wow. Like, he's like professionally doing better than he's ever done. Like ayahuasca. So what's ayahuasca? It's like a um it's like a drink like a tea that stems from a root that is DMT based but so it's kind of like, like peyote. Can it different? I'm not too familiar with peyote, okay. but it's it's a lot more intense. Uh, okay. you drink it and DMT kind of? No, DMT is like th Yeah, it is DMT, but it's a slower version of DMT. Like if you smoke DMT, have you ever smoked DMT? No, I haven't. <laughs> I can't say I have. Yeah, if you smoked DMT, you would just go away for like a half hour. Ayahuasca, you're present in a moment. It's yeah. like six hours. Yeah. Of like you but you do it with a shaman. Okay. To work you through it, you know? Uh, and they guide you. They guide you. Yeah. And then you okay. come out the other side like a fucking like I my friend who we were talking about told me it was like doing thirty years of therapy in six hours. Wow. 
Is there anyone it it hasn't worked for? Nobody I know. No one that went crazy? Like, mm. fuck. No, I got a couple of homies who, like, they go to Costa Rica three times a year just to get their, like, get just to get, yeah. get their fucking, their mind right. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Hey. Because <laughs> you know what? Like, all that fucking, all the therapy shit is cool and it's helpful. I think everybody should go to therapy and talk to somebody. Yeah. Um, But, like, the medicine that they try to put you on, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Like, medication, all that's just some fuck shit. Like, yeah. do some mushrooms, bro. Yeah, I get it. It's mm-hmm. a nat- natural kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like talking to someone is important. Though. It is important, but talking to someone who kind of understands or is willing to listen, even if they don't understand. Yes, but the other is thing important. is, is you're in a position where a lot of people you probably talk to. Do they depend on you, in some way? In some way, yeah. So don't talk to anybody who depends on you for anything. Yeah, but there's there are also people who depend on that, that aren't Does like that makes sense? selfish. That makes sense, of course. But you know, not everyone is like extremely selfish and some people are willing to you know kind of step outside of who right. they are and understand you yeah. feel me? 